Hey guys, sorry it's been a little bit uh, inconsistent lately. It was my birthday after all, and I had a little trip to Asia. But anyway, you're not here to hear about that. We're actually here to talk about an incredibly low power IoT sensor node. This is the RSL10 uh, sensor development kit from On Semiconductor. <laughs> So the RSL10 sensor development kit is actually both the development kit and the Bluetooth SoC that's on board of it. One of the claims to fame of this particular chip and kit is it's the industry's lowest power Bluetooth SoC according to On Semiconductor. Recently they did some embassy benchmarking tests and they scored over a thousand and the next closest uh, score on the embassy benchmark test for power uh, was three or 400 in the three to 400 range. So it really smashes it uh, when you're talking about the power consumption of this SOC. Because it's a Bluetooth low energy SOC, um, it does support Bluetooth 5, mind you. You don't see any of the traditional ports here that you would on a lot of your other development kits. Most of it's just handled through the uh, wireless connectivity through an app or what have you. On Semi does actually have a companion app to help you uh, get started or at least interface with the board. And as a proof point of how low power this is, you can see that there's even a coin cell slot here on the back. Uh, you can just run this off of a normal CR32 coin cell um, and power the whole thing. So there are a bunch of different sensors on here, notably ones from Bosch. Uh, there's an accelerometer, a gyroscope, a geomagnetic sensor, and then an environmental sensor, as well as an ambient light sensor that are all located on the front of the board here. So one of the coolest things about this, again, going back to the power, is that it is so low power that you can actually power it using harvested energy. So maybe it's solar energy, maybe it's a piezo that, or some, some sort of mechanical energy that you're harvesting. And On Semiconductor offers a series of development kits that help you develop energy harvesting applications. And the RSL10 is compatible with those. So it's a really awesome little board. It's obviously, if you can run it off of energy harvesting, it's just set and forget. And some of the applications that it happens to be being used in right now are, for example, asset monitoring, asset tracking, as well as a couple of applications for elderly care and uh, wearables. So all in all, if you're looking to develop an extremely low power Bluetooth application or um, are looking to prototype a really low power Bluetooth SoC, you can't really go wrong with the RSL10. For those of you interested in getting your hands on one of these RSL10s, it retails for 50 bucks uh, for major electronic component distributors. However, I do know that right now they are back ordered. Um, so there are a couple of different ways that you can actually get your hands on these kits, as always every week. If you sign up for the raffle as listed in the description below, um, you'll be entered to win this kit in my hand and we'll send it off free of charge. There's also an opportunity for those of you who are going to be attending Sensors Expo um, at the end of June uh, to win one of 10 of these that are gonna be given away when I do DevKit Weekly Live there. That's gonna be on Thursday uh, at 12.15 in the embedded amphitheater out on the show floor. Um, so we'll be doing something similar to this, but there are 10 extra ones. So in case you need to get your hands on one of these RSL 10s right now, um, either enter to win this one or show up at the raffle at uh, Sensors Expo. Please like, subscribe, follow, comment, and if you have any suggestions about kits that you'd like covered, please leave them in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.